Hello, welcome to my video. This video will illustrate the history of theories in anthropology. What is anthropology? Anthropology could be easy to define and not difficult to describe. Anthropology is the study of humankind, which aims to advance our understanding about who we are and how we came to be that way. Anthropology integrates the study of communication and language, economics, political organization, religion, arts, philosophy, education, medical and nutritional practices, social interaction, marriage, science, and technology, and many more. Anthropology studies humanity as biological, psychological, cultural, and social entities living in relationship with their environment. My objective with this presentation is to review important concepts of these five major theoretical perspectives, which are evolutionism, materialism, symbolic and interpretive, functionalism, and neo-evolutionism. Evolutionist theory postulate that the society is developed from simpler to more complex organizational forms. The impact of 19th century evolutionism on modern anthropology lies in the grand compare projects. Ancient society is a key example of the 19th century evolutionism. According to Morgan, that the human society had evolved through a series of stages, which he called savagery, barbarism, and civilization. He subdivided both savagery and barbarism into three sub-stages, lower, middle, and upper. According to Morgan's scheme, the earliest human lived in lower savagery from fruits and nuts. Middle savagery, people started fishing and gaining control over fire. And in upper savagery, people invented the bow and arrow. On the other side, lower barbarism, humans started making pottery. Middle barbarism, people domesticated plants and animals. And in the upper barbarism, people discovered the iron. Civilization finally came about with the invention of writing. Morgan's brand of evolutionism is known as unilinear evolutionism because he assumes that there was only one line or path through which all society had to evolve. Materialism is a major anthropological perspective for analyzing human societies. Positions that the physical world can impact and set limitation on human behavior. Materialism sees that human behavior is part of natural and therefore it can be understood by using the method of studying natural science. Materialism supported that material reality was more important than mental reality. This doctrine started to develop from Karl Marx and Friedrich Egos, who were social thinkers. Symbolic and interpretive anthropology studies the way people understand their surroundings as well as the action and sounds of the other member of their society. Symbolic anthropology studies symbols such as myth and ritual. According to anthropology, man is in need of, symbolic, of, of symbols, sources of illumination, to orient himself with respect to the system of meaning in a particular culture. Traditionally, symbolic anthropology has focused on religion, cosmology, ritual activity, and expressive customs such as mythology and performing arts. 
Functionalism is a theory which seeks to describe the different parts of a society and their relationship through the organic analogy. The organic analogy compares to different parts of society to the organs of living organism. The organism was able to live, reproduce and function through the organized system of its several parts on an organs. Like biological organism, a society was able to maintain its essential processes through the way that they their different parts interact together. For instance, institutions such as religion, kinship and economy were the organs and the individual were the cell in the social organism. Neo-evolutionism arose in the mid 20th century and it addressed the relation between the long-term changes that are characteristics of human culture in general. It focuses on social and ecological adjustment that, co that, cause, that cause a specific culture to differ from one another as they adapt to their own unique environment. Neo-evolutionists are interested in the environmental and technological adjustment of the groups they study. Neo-evolutionary anthropology emerged in the 1940s with the work of the American anthropologists, for example, Leslie White and Julian Stewart. Leslie White proposed that culture became more advanced as they became more efficient. Technology and social organization were both influential for such efficiency. Finally, anthropology today. Today, anthropology has expanded the field to include regional and national system to the movement of people, such as immigrants and dispersion across national boundaries. Many anthropologists today follow the flow of people, information, finance, and media. Such a movement has been made possible by advances in transportation, technology, and communication. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.